All right, so completely unexpected. Um, <laughs> my Marvel vs. Capcom to the arcade cabinet arrived weeks early. So, um, I guess we should do some form of unboxing. But nonetheless, this is what it ships in. Uh, get this open and start the process of getting it together. Look, say hi, baby. Hi. Say hi. Look, turn around. Say hi. Hi. Yep. Just scooting it into the dad pad. Got the dogs put up so we can get to work. We're going to move some stuff around. We're going to wedge this bad boy right into that wall there. Covering the shipping label in case there are any stalkers on the internet. Get to work. So check this out on the box. You see every game that is actually on here, which is every game that is a Marvel Capcom fighting collaboration made between Marvel One. I mean, all the way up from the first game up to Marvel Two. So we got Marvel superheroes. We got X Men: Children of the Atom. We got. Uh, Marvel War for the Game, because I've never played. Super excited about that. We've got X-Men vs. Street Fighter. We've got Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, which I also have never played. And then we've got Marvel vs. Capcom and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Put my cracks on so you don't have to look at my piggly wigglies. You're welcome. Now, obviously, there's going to be some assembly required here. We got all our parts. We're getting ready to get this all out of the box and laid out. Here's our instruction manual. Looks like there is also a owner's manual in here as well. All right, so we've got our side panels and we've got some boxes, which I'm assuming are gonna be maybe uh, our fight stick, maybe our screen and monitor, or maybe computer for the inside. Let's get to work. things are the devil they, they're, they're ridiculous been trying this has been the only point of contention the entire time I've been trying to get these screws into these holes to bond the screen in for about 20 minutes now ah. That's a really nice cream. <laughs> Good work. 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 Good work.
collectors that have multiple it would be a wonderful addition to have in your home arcade the screen quality is amazing um i'm it's safe to assume like i'm not a professional like when it comes to this stuff though i've played most of these in like their original arcade iteration but it's safe to assume that these are some form of optimized arcade ports um with a lot of the older beat-em-ups they still kind of chug a little bit um which kind of keep them like feeling like their original forms. Um, so it doesn't look like those would change much. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, 1, Marvel Super Heroes, and X Men vs. Street Fighter, and Street Fighter vs. Marvel Super Heroes all look amazing, feel amazing, feel super familiar. Like, if there were any changes to these games, I wouldn't be able to tell you. They feel exactly how I remember them to feel. Um, so there's that quite honestly i'm super impressed by them um am i gonna play this thing every day i don't know um but i can see in in a lot of cases if i know that maybe i've got some stuff to do but maybe i want to get a quick game in it's definitely a wonderful option to hop in pick one of your favorite fighting games jump in have a fight or two and get out um it looks great it feels great the wood is not like cheap plywood. It feels like a premium product. I mean, just just look at it. Obviously, you've got close-ups throughout this video, but I mean, even in the background, like it looks nice. Um, my mom is not a video game person. She saw it and she said, "Oh, that's a pretty machine. It looks great." Um, so, if I had to give this a a grade. Um, as far as assembly goes, I got to give it a solid 9 out of 10. Um, other than what you saw in the video, like one side of the hub joining the, the screen to the other side of the side panel was a little annoying just because the, the screw holes did not line up exactly. So I had to kind of like wiggle, jiggle and finagle those in for a while before I could actually get them in. Um, but other than that, everything was super organized. Every single piece was labeled. The instructions on the uh, on the actual assembly uh, instruction manual were super clear and concise. Um, it was not overcomplicated. It was actually fun. I really enjoyed building this. As you've seen, my daughter Lennox, she hang out, hung out the whole time. She helped as well. I've got zero complaints. Um, I love it. I've already logged in multiple hours. I've played every game on it already for at least 30 minutes. And it is probably my new favorite toy. Um, so with that, I hope that you guys are lucky enough to find one if you want one or at least lucky enough to experience one. It is truthfully a beautiful piece of piece of history and the fighting game community to have especially if you are a long, lifelong fighting fan some of these games i have not played since i was like 10 and i'll be 33 next month um some of these games i've not played since i was like six or seven 
Uh, so there's so much history in this one box and I love it. I'm, I'm excited to have it. I'm proud to have it. And I really want to thank my wife for going out of her way to gift this to me because wow, 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 wow. So again, assembly, if I had to review assembly uh, at the unboxing process, nine out of 10. Uh, other than that one thing, everything was, was more or less perfect. Uh, you want to talk about the product itself, uh, because after all, this is Dad Pat Gaming's kind of unboxing and review for Blur Lines podcast. Uh, as far as the product itself, I got to give it a solid 10 out of 10, man. Like this machine is nothing short of a masterpiece. The games are classic. All the games are unique from X-Men Children of the Atom, which I owned on the Sega Saturn. Uh, obviously, this is the arcade port, so it actually runs a little better. Um, and all the other classic games, I love it. Games wise, 10 out of 10 is perfect. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. The games all perform the way that I remember them. Some of them I feel even better. Uh, I'm not sure what type of screen this is. It it can, it feels really nice. Like it, it definitely is not like your traditional CRT. There is an option there if you want to add scan lines to the screen to kind of give it that feel. But the screen is very premium and nice. As you can see, even from here, it's super bright. Um, Quite honestly, these games to be in that original, what is it, four by three format, I think is what it's called. For them to be in the four by three format, I've never seen these games look this gorgeous. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 did not look this good in its PS3, Xbox 360 port. Um, but again, thanks guys for stopping by. I really do appreciate you coming in. Again, this is Greg with DadPad Gaming. For more content, keep it locked right here on Blur Lines Podcast or Slide over to our Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash blur line podcast, because Nick forgot the S. But we do live streams usually every Saturday and kind of go over all the weekly nerd news. Thanks again, guys, and have a good one.